Hi everyone, Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com coming at you with 21-22 Panini Chronicles Basketball. Six box, half case, pick your team number seven, half case from a fresh case. And if you follow the instructions here, you got a shot at a sealed box of Chronicles Basketball. And yes, if you want a team in the filler, that counts as a potential promo spot. All right, good luck everybody. Yeah, I think it's gonna be I'm going to try to see if we can get away with this toner until the end of the night. Toner Watch 2022. When will Joe replace the toner? See, this is the show within the show. The to Toner Watch. Show within the show. All right. Um, here is the fresh case. There it is. Ta-da. No, I didn't forget it. I'm just trying something new, Rex. I say the website the same way every time. So now I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if maybe that's just, maybe it's just, it's the same, it's delivered the same, so maybe people are just, don't even pay attention to it anymore. So I gotta mix it up so people like pay attention to it. Like you just did, Rex. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. One, left side. So right side will be for break eight. So we'll mark all of those with eights right there, or infinity symbols if you put it to the side. Second half is on the website right now. Jaspi's case, breaks.com. <laughs> um, and uh, you can get all that stuff on jaspiescasebreaks.com. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. In the radio industry, they say that, uh, and just like in comedy as well, the rules of three, you gotta say things three times. Stuff like phone numbers or email addresses on like commercial or email address? No, there's no email address commercials, but like websites on commercial and stuff like that. Usually three times is, is generally what the best way to let that sink into your brains. Right, something shouldn't be said three times, correct. Like uh, like Candyman, I believe. Or Bloody Mary. Those, those are some things you should not say three times. We are getting into the spooky season, Diego. All right, nice Kate Cunningham, 75 out of 99. That'll be for Detroit. That's going to go to Evan. Jalen Suggs for Orlando. That's going to be for Mark. There's Zach Levine to 99 for the Bulls. That's for William. Nice, Josh Giddy. That will be for OKC. That will be for the X line. There's an Evan Mobley, 45 out of 99. That's going to go to Chad, who got randomized Cleveland. There you go, Chad Da. Cleveland, this is for you. These prism cards are kind of like update cards here. There's James Harden for the Sixers. There's Chris Duarte for Matthew and the Pacers. Scotty Barnes for Simon and Toronto, your reigning rookie of the year. Josh Giddy for Josh Exline. 
Josh for Josh. 43 out of 99. Rex has been taught that it takes 21 days to create a new habit. Interesting. Did someone have to tell that someone had to tell that to you 21 times before you made the habit of having that sink in? 77 out of 49. Cameron Thomas, Nets, Shane. Brandon Clark, Rookies and Stars autograph for the Grizz. That's going to be for Rick T. And the Grizz Lees. 66 out of 99. No matter how you turn it. And Austin Reeves, gold standard, rookie, jersey, and autograph. Let's go, Austin Reeves. I'm hoping for a big season for him, from him. I hope. Another Scotty Barnes and another Scotty Barnes. That one is numbered to 149. Raptors, Simon, Dino DNA. Your bosses have always said that. So whenever you come up with a new program at Standard, they give it three weeks before they make it mandatory. Do you think it's just Kroger employees? Are there, are there like, I don't know, there's, there's, if it's like, uh, if it's like NASA, where they have rocket scientists there, you think it's just one week for them? Kessler Edwards to 99. And holiday. If we took a holiday, do, 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 it would be, it would be so nice. Justin Holiday for the Kings. William with Sacramento. Nine out of 99. Nine out of 99. Three threes make a nine, Diego. 21 days is three weeks. Yeah, number three is everywhere. Dosunmu. That was the uh, the villain at the end of uh, Doctor Strange. Everyone remembers that. Dosunmu, I've come to make a bargain. Here is Trey Murphy the third jersey and autograph, 87 out of 99. That will be for the Pels. That's going to go to William and the Pelicans. Evan Mobley for Chad. Jalen Green, red parallel to 149. And then there's Joshua Cousin to 149. Joshua Primo. And there's Sengun to 149. More Evan Mobley, this time Prestige Edition. Jalen Suggs, Gold Standard Edition to 99. And James Booknight to 99. Uh, I Have I seen the movie The Number 23 with Jim Carrey? I'm hesitating because I, I don't know if that, if, if, it's, if, if I saw that movie, 
or if I'm confusing with a John Cusack movie where he has access to a a devilish spell book. The Sun Wu? I've come to make a bargain. It's 249, Bones Highland. Paul George is 75. I like that little 75th anniversary stamp right there as well. And there's Jason Tatum to 49. Kevin loves that movie. I don't know if, I don't know if I've seen it, but it's sort of sort of like a... Isn't that with... Maybe with demons and stuff or something like that? Maybe I'm getting it all wrong. What are you saying? Number 23 is good. Since I was a teen, I've always seen the number 23. And 20 years later, I found out there's a society that sees the same like me. I'm not sure what that means. That's cryptic. Yeah, Doctor Strange is pretty good, too. Although I didn't see the most recent one. Moses Moody, Warriors to 99. That's for the Warriors, that's for the X-Line. Sengun to 99. Brandon Williams, Portland. Cade Cunningham. Oh, about how people. Oh, how people see the number twenty-three. Oh, I see what you mean. Hmm. You see the number twenty-three everywhere. Cade Cunningham to 99. Nice. And we got an RJ Hampton coming up. Let's take care of this Cade Cunningham. That Phoenix design, which I think looks really sharp. That's for Evan and the Pistons. Evan winning the Pistons in that filler. Oh, I see. Diego's got a little more insight for us. The number 23 is a number considered lucky to summon evil or sacred to others around the world. It's the number 23 Enigma. Uh, 111 out of 149, RJ Hampton. And a redemption coming up. The redemption is Trey Murphy the third, who I think is a Pelican. I always forget, I always forget this for some reason. Yeah, no, he's a Pelican. William with the Pelicans.
Yeah, why did Jordan pick 20th? He was probably president of that society, Diego. Is Brandon Boston Jr. to 99? Zach Levine to 149? Keon Johnson, 1 out of 10, and a Cade Cunningham. Keon Johnson, Trailblazers. Diego with that low numbered card, and I think these are traded, right? These are the these are update cards as well. And all these Cades will add up as well. All right, we are halfway through this half case break. Pick your team eight is the second half. That's in the store. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. We can run that back. Yes, X line. All card ship in this. Yeah, that's what I heard too. Jim Carrey supposedly retired recently. He said in an interview where he's done, he's had enough. Although, I've come to believe that's usually a code word for, unless I get paid enough. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not just going to do any old movie. You know, for... Well, whatever, however much he makes per movie. There's Jalen Suggs to 75. He fits script content that he absolutely moves and he'll do it, otherwise he's happy. Translation, don't just pitch me BS anymore. I'm tired of it. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. No, I don't want to do another Ace Ventura Pet Detective. No, I don't want to do The Mask. Stop asking me. I did a Dumb and Dumber. That's it. I don't want to do all the other stuff. Stop asking me. <laughs> There's Jonathan Kaminga to 149. Cade Cunningham. That's what I'm hearing. Here's Jonathan Kaminga right here. Autograph. JK. Warriors. The X-Line. Won that team in the filler. Bones, six out of 10, nice little number there. Bones Highland. Denver, Mark with that one. And we got Omer, you're seven, 15, out of 49. Omer is coming. Omer is coming. It's so Albert Sengun to 149. And there's... Uh, Justin Champagne, 25 out of 25. Raptors, Dino DNA for uh, Simon Meyer and the Raptors.
All right, two more. I see a flurry of orders coming in here. I wonder if something's, uh, wonder if something's sold out. We'll check those orders once we're done here, and then we'll see where we're at. The actor that played Omar in uh, in that show that I'm blanking on HBO show about wiretaps based on the novel or based on the book Homicide about the Baltimore PD is no longer with us. I don't think he's with us anymore. The Wire, wiretaps, Wire. All right. Next box. There's JT, 29 out of 99. Jericho Sims. Scotty Barnes for Toronto. Scotty Barnes, John ja Morant to 49. Scotty Barnes, Scotty Barnes, Scotty Barnes. A lot of Scotty Barnes is here. A little flurry of Scotty Barnes. What actor shocked me the most by going goofy, comedy, dramatic actor? Hmm. Rex, it's Sandler or Robin Williams. Tom Hanks says Diego. Uh, well, I, I've always known, I've always heard that comedy is a lot harder than drama. Right? So the idea of someone who can do comedy going to drama is not as to me not as surprising or shocking to me here's Justin again to 20 to 75 but I think maybe the other way around like a dramatic actor that can do comedy I think is a little more surprising or like actors that you don't think would be action stars and then become action stars. Like uh, like Liam Neeson. Anyone thought he'd be an out, out and right action star? I mean, after like, I guess Taken. Like Taken 1 probably would be the first first one, right? Where it made that, that sort of change. Bruce Will I I, th I guess I've always known Bruce Willis as a uh, as an action star so maybe I didn't see Bruce Willis that way. John Stockton flipped around autograph. Nice. Eight out of thirty-five John Stockton Hall of Fame auto. That is for Diego, one of his last Bond Mojo teams. Strikes again. Right, there you go. Yeah, De Niro, another guy. That would be a little more surprising from, for him to go from just serious stuff. I mean, he's had humor in his his movies, but an out-and-out out out comedy? No, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't really see De Niro doing that. I did, I did not know that. 
I don't know too much about Bruce Willis before Die Hard. I guess I've just never, I don't know, it's never researched that, I guess. So he was a heartthrob, a teenage heartthrob on a TV show before Die Hard. What TV show is this? There's Evan Mobley. Jonathan Kaminga to 25. This is all on movies that made us? Hmm. Maybe I do have to watch that. I've got too many things to watch though. Here's Scotty Barnes. I got Rings of Power to watch. I got Sports to watch. I got Andor episode four on tonight. At midnight, LA time, 3 a.m. East Coast time. Moonlighting, isn't that the movie with Cher? There's Evan Mobley, Chad and the Cavs, a couple of them. This is cool, Scotty Barnes 75, six out of 75. I like how they put that little foil right on the 75th anniversary logo. That looks really sharp. There you go, Simon with Toronto. Oh, Moonlighting was a TV series. What's the what's the movie with Cher? That's called Moonlighting? It was made with Cher and... Cher and... Someone. It's Jonathan Kaminga to 149. <laughs> Somebody. The guy that was in The Rock. Not Sean Connery, but Moonstruck. That's what it was, Moonstruck. There's Christian Wood. 22 out of 75. Nick Cage, right, Moonstruck. Diego, is there is there a uh, Movies That Made Us uh, episode on The Rock? with Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage. Kira Lewis Jr. for the Pelicans. There's, a, there's some great fan theories that you can find on, uh, on, on the YouTube that, uh, that, that make the connection that uh, Sean Connery is actually, that's actually a, uh, that's actually a Bond movie. It's 10 out of 49, Steph Curry. Bond movie. The theories are close enough where the theories are close enough where I'm just like, yes, it's a Bond movie. It's a James Bond movie hidden inside a uh, hidden inside a Michael Bay picture. All right, there's Kate Cunningham, there's Josh Giddy, Orange Wave for OKC, that'll be for the X-Line. That's to 75, here's a numbered Giannis card, and a uh, Steph Curry marquee card for the Warriors, that's also for the X-Line. Nothing too crazy autograph-wise, but a lot of the top rookies, um, their cards popping, some of them numbered. Those can add up, those can, uh, those can come together and... Maybe get graded. Some of those can sell really well in the secondary market. All right, now, if you follow the instructions here, if you got at least two teams, whether you won it or bought it, you'll get an entry. 
and that gives you a shot at a box of Chronicles, sealed box of Chronicles. Now, Diego, you ended up with six teams. That's three entries in the promo. Basically, by an even number of teams, half of those become entry numbers. Dwayne won two teams, gets an entry. The X line won four teams. That's two entries. Mark bought four teams. That's two entries. Matthew bought two teams. That's an entry. Rick T bought two teams. That's an entry. And William G bought four teams. That's two entries. All right, so let me just spot check this again. So, Chad has got one. Diego got Dwayne. I got no Evan, no HF. Yes, X line. Yes on Mark, Matthew, no. Yes on Rick T, no on Shane, no on Simon. Yes on William G, no on William H. All right, so let's gather all these names. And new dice, new list. You can check, Paul. Go go to the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com and see where the spots left number is at. And then it'll tell you exactly where we are on that break. All right, four and two, six times. Top name after six gets a sealed box. One, two, three, four, five, and once more, sixth and final time. Good luck. It's going to be Matthew Hedges after six. I don't know if I called your name too often during the break, but a sealed box of Chronicles going your way. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break.